Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more Common Rider Revice, you guys. Um, wow, last time was pretty stinking amazing. I am loving Common Rider Aguilera. I have a lot I want to say about it. Um, there's, there's definitely like, I feel like I've had more time to, um, kind of digest it and everything now. Um, but before I get started with that, you know, I just want to say that if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes today, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. So, yes. Um, last time was pretty intense. I have to say, just in general, we're getting to a part of the series where it feels like everything gets like more and more intense and bleak, like every episode. But I think that also makes the glimmers of like cool awesome um last minute saves new um riders stuff like that it does like maybe make it even more so awesome um last time was no exception because we got common rider aguilera you guys so beautiful love the form love what it does for her character um i think it really brings her character full circle because at this point you know, she's not exactly the Hana, I'm assuming that was her name before she joined up with the Dead Mans and everything when she was a little girl. Um, but she's not exactly like the person she was before that. I mean, it was a very long time ago. And she's not Aguilera as we knew her anymore. So, like, who is she? And I feel like she's finding herself now, and this new writer is kind of a part of, like, you know, bringing those two lives together. Don't be ashamed of your past. Use it, you know? There was a great degree of power in Aguilera that we could use for the good now. Um, so I loved it. I mean, I thought it was I thought it was great. I uh, The little tease with Tamaki, I was like, ah, oh, I'd love to see him as a writer, too. And I have a feeling I just... I really hope that, like, he'll get his day as well, um, but we'll see. I mean, I would be pretty surprised if we didn't end up with, like, a bunch more riders <laughs> at the rate that we're going, um, but, you know, things are still pretty dire, but um, it was pretty cool to see Aguilera jump in there, um, not only for, like, her own coolness and just, like, kind of... Um, fleshing out her new character more, but also just for, oh, hey, Vale, I bet you don't have this one. Boom. <laughs> so, um, that was pretty great. That was pretty fun to watch, but certainly we still have a lot of things to deal with. Um, at this rate, I can't imagine we have many episodes left. So I feel like just every episode from here on out is just going to be like absolute fire. Not that we've ever really had like a lot of, oops, that's my new, oh yeah, I have a new chair. I told you guys about this last week and meet my new chair. I can now groove with no fear. Um, it's also very comfy and it feels good on my back. So, um, but yeah, it also has these, like, you can like adjust the arm bar things and I accidentally just did it. You can't see it. It's out of frame. But, um, yeah, I just think that, um, you know, from here on out, it's going to be even more intense and we'll be getting like all the big stops are going to pull out like new riders, um, new forms, upgrades, everything. Like, I feel like these last I'm guessing eight or nine episodes is going to be when they pull that out. So I'm excited, you guys. Without further ado, because you guys keep telling me this one's going to make me lose my mind. So, like, I know I'm in for something especially good this episode. Something is around the corner. So what do you say we go ahead and jump into the next episode of Revice? Let's do this. Oh, is that a fact? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. You know what? I can't, take, I can't take it. He is hamming it the heck up. Yep. They're going to be like, oh, GIF is, GIF is really cool. Don't worry about GIF. 
Okay, so just gonna, so he's basically trying to convince them of what he did a long time ago, just like giving it. And I, I just, I just, you know, I just feel like Daiji's just like, I just feel like Daiji's like dead inside at this point. We're having tea? This is not a friendly visit. Oh. So that was all to get the pace going? We're going to let You got to be kidding me. Are you for real making it so that you have people to squash if you need to? Oh, Daiji, you're just that uh, Daiji. Oh. Okay, yeah. Can we can we please have some help from weekend over here? There's got to be people who feel that way. If they're if they're worried about dissenters. Yeah. That's pretty true actually. Yup, yeah, I was gonna say, why don't we bring this back into play? We need to do it all together. I, I guarantee it. What are you saying? Oh, Daiji, no. We can't just give in. We can't just give in. You really think if we give in, they're gonna, no. Do you have a better plan besides give up? Oh, I think we can have both eventually. It's, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, yes. There's definitely going to be some, some ugliness while we're fighting. Oh, he see, you know what? How, how can you really call that peace? It's not even really peace. Oh, is that, is this, um, I'm guessing this is maybe the mom. Oh, that's his dad's grave, but he's not really dead. Oh, wow. I mean, it, it's definitely complicated. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, we could do this with everyone, too. It's a win-win. Uh, no problem. Okay, We've, we're already on it. Way to go, George. Nice. Good old Bari Drex. Sweet. I've always been a big fan of Barry Drex. Yeah. Way to go. Aww. George ended up being such a great ally and friend. Don't say I smile. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Yeah. Let's get this. Let's get this done. Big bro, let's go. Yeah, she's gonna be all right. It's really no good news at this point. <laughs> yeah, soccer is a flipping boss. I feel like we've just gotten really good time with all of them. Even the ones that would be like side, like they're not main riders. Like I feel like have just become, I don't know, I'm like super invested. Please work. Oh, no. The regenerative powers are insane. This would be a good time for Daiji to show up and be like, hey, just kidding. Um, are we going to, like, talk about this? Yeah, it's probably true. Hmm. 
let's get to the, to the heart of this. the pursuit of science hmm oh we're gonna get to see the face is it gonna be super like messed up whoa they're not even, are they not even gonna show us is it like too gruesome <gasps> Oh, we all have our scars, you know. It was one of those, like, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should, but he just had to try it. When we met George this season, he was very much in a similar position where, like, he just kind of wanted to try things to observe, like, for the sake of science. So I feel like that might be a really interesting way to take that. E <laughs> Let's go. And he still is he still over demons? Let's go. Oh my god. I it's I'm just like I'm obsessed with her weekend gear. Like she just makes anything look amazing. Oh my god, yes. He's like not around, but I feel like oh we oh we're okay, we're doing this. I was gonna say I feel like Hiromi might be able to reach her because weren't they like close? Yeah. Oh, oh my God! I love Bari Rex so much, and it looks like we're 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 upgraded. Hashtag nice George now trending on Twitter. I don't know if it is, but it should be. Oh, he's gonna put that together real fast. If there was a way, wouldn't you? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not. No, wait, stop. That's not what's happening here because that would actually help her, right? She would no longer be a demon and they'd get the. Oh, he's going to rush in there thinking that they're about to kill Akemi. That's how I took it. Maybe I took it wrong. I don't know. But I don't think they just go in there and like kill Akemi. I can't see them being okay with that. But that's how he's going to take it. To him, it's going to look like they're killing her and he's going to come in. Stop it! Did it work? Oh my god! So help me God, Daiji. A few good in here mess this up right now. Yeah. Just for a second, make this quick. Okay. Okay. Oh, shoot. Oh, my. Oh! <gasps> Baby girl, no! Holy crap. Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, don't! Don't! <gasps> oh, my God. He's going to kill her? He's going to kill her. No! That was our one chance and also Akemi! No way. No way. Please tell me he didn't just kill Akemi. Daiji. No! He's gonna th Oh, you! <sighs> Daiji, you're being such an idiot right now. It's not what you think. He's gonna think that they did it and he's gonna be like, I will end you. Yes. Yes. Do not isolate everyone around you because you're trying so hard to do the right thing that you've just lost sight of everything. Akami, no! We cannot be losing Akami right now. I ref <sighs> That's it. No way. Oh, no. Daiji. Daiji. <sighs> it was not them! That's not what happened. Don't they have security? Oh, my God. Oh, God. He's going to turn on them. Thank you, Vice. Someone spit the gosh darn words out. They, if it hadn't been for your boss, they were that close. He's trying, Vice is just like trying so <gasps> 
No, somebody come in and do something, please. Who? Oh my god. Um Daiji, I'm I'm so sorry if I'm not being understanding enough of Daiji because um I know that like he's just trying to be realistic and he's just trying to make sure that we don't make choices out of like idealism that end up hurting a lot of people. You know, I get that. I get that. But at the same time, I feel like he's just let that tunnel vision just, like, take over to the point where he's really lost sight of himself and, like, everything that they were kind of fighting for. And, oh, my God, of course. Of course, of course. I bet the director even planned it that way. He probably even planned at that moment for Daiji to, like, be seeing the fight and then show up for the director to kill Akemi. So, let's just be clear not only is Alchemy gone, which is horrible because our whole thing was we were going to save her. And so many of our characters really cared about her. And she may not have been like a super prominent at the forefront character, but I feel like she was like always sort of there, just kind of like helping us along. And like, it sucks to lose her. It sucks to lose her. Even more so than just the obvious emotional impact. That was like our last chance to get some like gift cells. Well, we th uh, that's how it seems anyway. I don't know if it's our really last chance. But oh, thank God Hiromi showing up here like a cool breeze in hell. And just... <sighs> so what's he going to do now? Are they going to make a new rider for him? Because the other kid is now over demons unless they have like I don't know they probably have just like another demons driver because weren't that wasn't the whole thing like they were trying to make make it so that like anyone could use the demons driver so they probably have like a bunch um oh, thank god he's here it doesn't change what happened to Akemi but I feel like even being left with like a tiny slice a sliver of hope in this bleak situation, it at least leaves me with some calm. Um, Akemi. That should be a good lesson to Daiji of, like, do not give up. You know? Because I feel like she would be the first to say, giving into that despair of, like, we can't possibly win is not going to get us anywhere. And I feel like that's what he's done. He's just given into that and been like, whatever, we will just do whatever you say as long as you don't. And like, really, how is that peace? That's not peace. It's not like, oh, cool. So we're just going to go leave you alone. Everything is cool and back to normal. That's not peace. That's like, uh, <sighs> yeah, we shouldn't have to live without either peace or freedom. Um, but man, I'm so glad Hiromi's back. I don't know. I guess I guess our little DVD project that we did back in the day really helped catch him up on everything. And maybe he's just like up to speed on everything <laughs> up to this point. But uh, Daiji just like totally lost his way. I really hope we can get Daiji back on board because I really truly feel like this is going to end with like nothing can be done until these three kids, until his family maybe, maybe even like getting dad back in the mix and everything like this family united is going to be the only thing that's going to be able to take out GIF. Um, all, all of our powers united because now we also have Weekend on our side too. Um, and you could say even Weekend has like that family element because like we see here George and his dad are going to have to work together. Um, I feel like maybe a big theme is going to be like reunited. We can do anything, you know. I don't know, though. I really don't even know what they're going to... Because they... I feel like we've... I feel like Daiji's been so back and forth throughout this whole series. It's not a surprise to see him, like, t like turning on them. Especially when he's, like, emotion-fueled, thinks that they killed Akemi. But, like, even just in general, 
I feel like that's been that that's no they've done a good job of building that up from like day one. Um all right guys, I have no clue where we're going from here, but Hiromi is back and I just feel like somehow everything's going to be okay. Like I don't know how we're going to get there, but I feel like I feel like this is a good sign. This is a good sign. Hiromi is back. We've officially got like everyone together. Well, except for Daiji, who is turning on us, but maybe we could change that. So, um, all right, guys. Excellent episode. Such a great end. After all of that death and despair and just just giving me just anything, anything to go on here was very much appreciated. Um, so, yay. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please be sure to join me next time. I think we're really in for a lot of drama. So please help me. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.